What's going on everyone? It's Greg back with another Mirror 4 guide. Today I want to point something out that probably most veteran, or I say veteran, the only game only been out like two months. But, you know, the experienced players probably don't know about, but there's probably a few in there that don't. And this is more for like new players as well. I just want to show you guys how to get around a little bit quicker. Now, this is not going to work if you are currently, you know, you have a red name. If you have less than negative 500 points, you can't pour anywhere. So keep that in mind. You need to work on getting your points back up so your name can turn back white and then you can fast travel places. So let's talk about the two types of scrolls that are in the game. Well, before we get in there, first and foremost, you can easily get around by just going to these different places. Uh, you know, you can click somewhere on the map and move and you will run there. But we have two scrolls to talk about. We have the fast travel scroll and the jump scroll jump scroll is pretty straightforward it's going to take you to the nearest city which right now ambition is going to take you to ambition castle in snake it's going to take you to snake pit in spiritual it's going to take you to spiritual center that's pretty straightforward it helps you get out of sticky situations you know maybe you need to move somewhere else but you need somewhere calm first before you open the map and stuff like that you use this get back to the nearest town it also will bring you straight to like the nearest uh, warehouse manager as well that way you know if you're just going to, need to do something in the warehouse you click on this you ain't got to think about it you, you'll be right by the warehouse so that is the jump scroll. Let me just show you how that works real quick. Right now I'm in Ginkgo Valley. You can put this on your hot bar down here where you have your potions. And all you do is click on it. And boom, we're going to fast travel to, oh, I guess if you're in Ginkgo, you go to the Ginkgo main area. I guess, I don't know. That's weird. I thought it was going to take me to the castle. Unless something is going on right now. Is there a warehouse over here that I can use? Huh, maybe it's, did they change it? I promise you this always took me to Bishon Castle anywhere I was at in Bishon, but maybe something happened here. I'm not gonna dwell on that too much. There's some sundry, there's sundries here and we'll go ahead and continue here, but it's just quite odd because I don't see anyone that can deal with your warehouse. E merchant, yeah, there's no one here for the warehouse. Okay, maybe it's a ginkgo thing for early game. Maybe that's, maybe that's what I did wrong. Um, so anyway, that confused me a little bit. Let's continue. These scrolls can be purchased from the Sundry Merchant. Uh, let me go ahead and get my enhancements, stones. You can grab these here. I usually just grab a bunch, you know, a few hundred. And I don't need too many of the jump scrolls, but you know what? I'll just buy a couple more of these fast travel scrolls. We'll talk about why I have so many a little bit later. So that's how you use the jump scroll let's talk about the fast travel scroll how do you get around faster well there's a couple things you may not know well first and foremost if you click on like a scroll or something where you're working on a quest like this you can fast travel and if i do this it's going to use a jump scroll it's going to bring me to that map now once you're on that map it's going to run you to the location for that quest now i don't know if i can how can i see if you know, like it's going to tell me to defeat the, the Nefariax Horde. If I look at the map, sometimes you can look and see, oh, here is Nefariax uh, Tool Leg. Well, instead of waiting and running there, and if you're like in the other map and you read this ahead of time and you know where you need to go, you can click on anything in this menu and you can fast travel to it most of the time, except on the fourth floor of the valleys and the labyrinths where it's a danger zone. You can't really teleport anywhere there. You have to run there. But any of these merchants and stuff, you can fast travel to anyone. Landmarks. Also, a lot of people don't realize this. You can fast travel to landmarks. Maybe there's a landmark near where you need to go. Where does this come in handy? Let me show you. On, Let's say you're trying to go to one of the secret areas in Bishan Valley to XP. Okay, well, what do you do? You can click on here and run there. That's what I used to do. But no, actually, if you go to landmarks, you'll see here. Oh, there's landmarks to each of these entrances. I want to go to Secret Passage 2-2. It's my favorite spot. Oh, let's fast travel. And boom, here we are. Mission Valley 2F Secret Passage. I can just run right in. Otherwise, normally, I would have clicked right here and hit move. And it would have ported me into the map. And I would have ran all the way here, which is a lot slower. Where else does this come in handy? Well, let's say you feel like you need to you got a request or something or you just want to farm some unique monsters well what i like to do is i throw on my item drop potion my item drop items and i fast travel from 
unique to unique. I call them bosses, but they are uniques in the game, so I don't I don't want to try to confuse anybody. So they're not technically bosses. Now this one, a lot of these are usually down, but here I beat this one, I go to the next one. I beat this one, I go to the next one. I'm not running from boss to boss. I'm trying to farm, so I go here. Look, this one's up. Make sure my drop is on. Yeah, I got my drop up. I go I fight this one. Ah, uh, and then boom, I'm done with that one. I'm gonna go to the next one. Not gonna think about it. Just keep going. Fast travel, fast travel, fast travel. So as you can see, this is why I buy so many of these scrolls. I use them quite a lot. So. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing here. Like I said, you can go to also the gathering grounds. You want to get to the mining spot quicker on any map. You can get to the mining spots quick and easy. This comes in handy on when you get to the new maps, like in Spiritual Center, and you got these red gather nodes. Usually, what I'm doing, you got to usually do this on off hours. But we go from you know gathering site to gathering site till you find a red node. Sometimes you don't find one, you gotta run around and find one on the map somewhere. But every now and then you get lucky. Uh, looks like there you would not get lucky right here right now. So I would look here, I'm like, oh, there's not one. Let me go check the next one. Even though I could probably run right there a little bit quicker in this case, but yeah, I fast travel. Why not? And there's not one over here, surprisingly. I'm surprised because the server was down, but it's what it is. Um, maybe they'll just have to they'll spawn in at some point. Oh no, it looks like someone was here. Maybe went ahead and got one. So that is how you get around a little bit quicker. I hope this was helpful. Nice little guy, little little quick thing. And like I say, if you any any of these things on the map, you can use and you can fast travel. A lot of people do not realize this. You communicate with the people you're working with. You get around a little bit faster and get things done faster. That's how we like to do. So if you guys enjoyed this tip, make sure you hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And I will catch you guys in the next one.